Hello and welcome. I'm Tucker and these are my brothers Emmett and Wyatt. Um, we just watched GoldenEye, the 007 James Bond movie from 1995. For the first time, none of us had seen it before. Um, We'd only seen the Daniel Craig ones. Yeah. The most recent. We really love Casino Royale mm -hmm. and then like Skyfall, but then the other two are just pretty forgettable. Um, this one was pretty forgettable as well. Yeah, I, I might put it above like Quantum of Solace Inspector, or at least very firmly near, nearby, mm -hmm. at least. But yeah, kind of slow. And Things happening for not a whole lot of reason. It was a 90s movie. Um, made, made me feel like I was in the 90s. And you, I don't. you are from the 90s. Yeah, yeah. It's been a few I'm years. I'm from the 90s. Yeah. I'm not You're not from the... Nope, I'm not from You're the 90s. Did it give you a taste? Do you know what the 90s were like right now? I mean, I don't know. You, you, you've watched plenty of 90s movies, but... <laughs> yeah, I've seen better 90s movies. Yeah. How did this movie make you feel, Doug? Tired again. <laughs> <laughs> but we watched it in the afternoon! Yeah, that Sunday afternoons always make me feel tired. Sure, sure. I don't know. Um, it's just weekend. Golden um, eye. It makes you tired. Yeah, from the same director as Casino Royale, and, like, I I could see where he got some of his ideas for what he put into Casino, that, mm -hmm. that um, I, I felt like this was kind of practice for that, and then, then he, it really all paid off when he got a, another chance at it. Well, it was a '90s it, it spy was, movie. It was, it was very '90s. Uh -huh. you, you've got your '90s music. You've got your Tina Turner. I I forgot that opening song immediately yeah. after it happened. I, I usually want to forget insane. most Bond openings. It yeah. seems like a lot of times they're just kind of like. Again, I have only seen the Craig ones, but but just Casino Royale is the the my favorite Bond movie mm -hmm. that has my favorite Bond opening, and it seems like every other opening music number. I don't know, even Skyfall. Everyone loves Skyfall and Adele, and it's it's fine, but. Never really wowed me, but yeah, here we are again. Just you got your sexy Bond girls doing weird things. Very weird things. <laughs> got guns coming out of the mouth. Got I don't know. Got some stuff. Got a lot of stuff. Yeah. So this one opens with a scene. I like the opening scene mm -hmm. um, with. That was actually nine years prior to the rest of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't understand the bit with him hiding behind the, the little cart of tanks, it, though. It was <laughs> kind of funny. I appreciate them for doing that, but... Um, it was humorous, but it was silly, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to, like, really be laughing as uh -huh. much as I was, <laughs> but... Yeah. It's hard I, to tell what they were uh, doing. That, exactly. It was definitely supposed to be a humorous scene, but... Uh-huh. But... Like, when, at the very beginning, when the score started, and it was kind of soft and, like, subtle... Mm -hmm. At the very first infiltration scene, I liked it, but then it seemed like it jumped around from really cheesy 90s music to just sometimes sounding classical. Mm, and this kinda wacky. couldn't land on what it wanted to be. At least it didn't have any 80s sax, I guess. 
You know, saxophone. 86. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then... It's like after that, it didn't get its energy back for a while. Um, mm -hmm. And then sometimes it had got too much, en too much energy with um, the villainous Bond girl was mm -hmm. a little too much energy. That yeah. didn't work. <laughs> I didn't think it worked at all. Just really campy. Ha haven't seen the any of the older ones prior to Goldeneye. Should probably should get around to at least checking out. You know the one that started it all and, and a couple of the Connery ones. They're probably all on Amazon because uh, we watched this on Prime. Uh, but. I'm, I'm sure they've got their fair share of cheese, but <laughs> just sure. just something about her performance. It's kind of scary, but not in the good sense. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so this one... Uh, Forgetting it already? Yeah, already forgetting yeah, it. it. I guess there's a Russian uh, space center Sat satellite. satellite. Sat I yeah. mean, the name had space in it. The, yeah, the but what control center or something. No, like well, that. it wasn't in space. It was just. Have we ever had a Bond movie set in space? There was one. <laughs> I think there where was Bond one. went to space. Yeah, there was. Uh, there was one. I okay. think. Got that question answered, I guess. Yeah. Um, Spying on those aliens. Then, <laughs> um, yeah. Secret. Golden Eye that controls the satellite that I guess has a very powerful EMP on it, and they're just trying to stop it. It goes off once in Russia, and then they try to stop it from going out. Again, which is basically the actual plot of the movie. Yeah. Because... Because everything else was kind of filler. Yeah, there was a lot of filler, just... They milked it for all it was worth and then turned it into 90s cheese. Yeah. Best pose. <laughs> <laughs> we've, I mean, we've seen so many modern movies do the satellite thing so that's that got old for me really fast mm -hmm. and maybe it's one of those cases where if that's one of the if this was one of the first movies to do that then maybe sure. at, at the time it was more impressive but sure, yeah. now it's a little dated uh -huh. wasn't a terrible movie by any uh -huh. means yeah um not not one uh, i wouldn't watch it again i mean yeah i if, wouldn't if it, if yeah. I was sitting around not doing anything and it was on TV and there was nothing else to watch, I'd, eh, yeah, let it play in the background. I can fiddle on my phone or something. Just noise there. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, it wasn't terrible, but wasn't memorable either. And it's got Sean Bean as the villain. Yeah, and yeah I was so like didn't. Give him a whole lot to do. I was really hoping for more with that. A little more beaniness. Yeah, because, I mean, he's pretty cool in most things. Mm -hmm. That aren't Jupiter ascending. <laughs> At least, I'm glad I only caught bits and pieces. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, forget about that. No, yeah, we're not going to. <laughs> <that>. Um... <laughs> Sean Bean as the villain, I felt like he didn't get that much to do. I was, as, yeah, that as was, far as Sean Bean villain roles go. That was the biggest letdown, because I wasn't really expecting yeah. too much. Just, I was hoping Sean Bean would be a little cooler than that. I mean, it took him an hour to get there, and then he just kind of came and went, and then died. 
They killed off Sean Bean. I guess that's why you hire Sean Bean. Uh, uh, least favorite thing was, how do you say her name? Famke Jensen from the X-Men film. Should have looked it up, probably. Before uh, this. Uh, well, oh. yeah, it, it, any foreign name I'm going to butcher anyway, but, mm -hmm. but um, just, ooh, just talk about just... hamming it up and... Very, very hammy. Just, just I, I, I don't, I don't know what direction they were going. Over the top of over the top, basically. Yeah, just uh, thought a highlight was the five minutes of Robbie Coltrane, Hagrid from Harry Potter. I, I thought he, he made a good addition to the cast. Most, most of the cast members, I forgot they were in there once. They left the screen, but... Um, Barely had anything at MI6. I don't know if that's just a thing that started with the newer ones. Just more focused on the MI6 stuff. And then, yeah, that, that very cartoony scene with Q and all the, all the inventions and gadgets in the room. Man, that was cheesy. But one of the more entertaining scenes. Yeah, it was sure, entertaining. Sure. It just felt... Out of left field. Of course, the entire movie's cheesy. I don't know why it uh -huh. fell out of left field. Um, it seemed uh, like they threw you into some kind of quirky British workplace comedy or something. Where the, all the people are pulling hijinks and uh -huh. pranking each other. And, yeah. But inventing things at the same time. Yeah. Um, Pierce Brosnan. Um, uh, I, I'm just so used to Daniel Craig. But yeah, that just... Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to see anyone else in the role, and I, I understand why they cast him, but but just yeah, overall, you know, it's, it's, we never take Pierce Brosnan too seriously to I, begin I, with. I never have. Uh, um, so I wasn't expecting a whole lot from him. <laughs> he kind of matched the movie. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, that's true. But, what what yeah. a 90s interpretation of Bond. No, very, <laughs> very 90s. Uh, several times where it was just 90s music and... Didn't have any Russian funk, though. No. Just German. Chinese funk. <laughs> well, he's oh, always in Russian. Russian. This time. Uh, yeah. They'd be Wouldn't make any sense. Had some Russian funk. And yeah... 90s sappy 90s song in the credits that seemed like I, I've never movie. been a Tina Turner fan either so no that didn't 90s word for me either got it. and uh, that that took me by surprise I thought I don't, I don't know just when I think James Bond I think the opening theme and then just closing it out with you know that you've got your instrumental James Bond scores that people are used to that they bring back for most of the movies and just ha having yeah 90 sap song to end it all just just yeah it, it's a 90s movie the tank sing scene was fun mm -hmm. and it's ridiculous but tank. fun uh -huh. Uh -huh. definitely one of the highlights uh-huh the when the just 90s craziness when that statue was riding on top is just a little. We we need a little statue on there. Yeah, there. or a little uh, like Brosnan <laughs> upper body to just. Yeah, just it, on it, there. it just looked strange. Him just half his shoulders sticking out like you uh -huh. don't. Whenever they show the inside of the tank, the controls are well below. Yeah, the, well yeah. below the manhole, so he is just like <laughs> right in that. Sure, sure, surely they sold action sets of Tank Brosnan mm -hmm. got, got your little Thank figure you. and <clears throat> you know has a statue that it's a little balancing game see how far you can drive your tank without the statue <laughs> falling off uh huh mm -hmm. All right. not much to say about this one it no. didn't leave an Im much of an impact pretty, pretty straightforward just yeah, Casino Royale's better. It's the perfection of Martin 
Mark, Campbell. Martin Campbell. Yeah. Martin Campbell's. Yeah. Bond Lo- love Casino Royale. It's it's one of my favorite films in general. Mm-hmm. Um, really like Mask of Zorro. The, that that's like. Yeah, go, going back to 90s action films, that's definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, it's better 90s. than this one for sure. Yeah, um, definitely holds up. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> this was definitely better than the the sequel to Zorro, Legend of Zorro. Like, that that one's enjoyably bad, I really but that. Th- this one definitely wasn't as bad as that. And mm-hmm. I, I don't really need to ever <laughs> watch Green Lantern again, so. <laughs> but, but I don't really see myself watching this one again for different reasons. It, yeah. But just since it's an old movie, I mean, it's not like a lot of people who have probably have already seen it if they're going to see it. Um, this is just our reaction to it. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, James Bond movie, you know what to ex- expect with content-wise. Yeah. And everything. Uh. Checked all those boxes. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what would we rate 007 Golden Eye? Hmm. Hmm. If I'd have to give it something, I'll give it. I'll give it a statue of a guy on a Pegasus riding a tank. Sure. That. But that's impressive. We'll give him. Or give it the crumbled <laughs> remains. They, they, they gave of us the that statue. scene. <laughs> they gave us that image. So, <laughs> best part uh, of the movie. Statue of a guy riding a Pegasus on a tank for exactly uh, 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. 10 seconds of Pegasus tank riding action. Yeah. And then it, it crashes into a building, crumbles, and dies. Then you can say, well, at least, at least I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. It happened. For a little bit while. For a little while. For a little bit, yeah. You were good while you lasted, little statue. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's that. This movie didn't have much of an effect on us. Hopefully. We'll see what else yeah. comes our way. Yeah, we'll see what else comes our way. Hopefully we can get a good review. For a movie yeah. for a, a review for a movie that we enjoyed soon. Uh, I'm not expecting our next one to be like that. Won't say what it is, but mm-hmm. I'm not expecting anything good. So. <laughs> yep. So. See ya.